Hello viewers, welcome to Rishiraj Classes YouTube channel. Here we are going to talk about one important interesting event of the Abacus course. Yes, regarding Abacus course I have already uploaded many videos. You can check the link of those in the description box. First of all, why the parents admit their child for the Abacus course? The main intention is improvement in mathematics. Yes, it's believed that if child learns abacus, the techniques of solving sums by the abacus method, it is believed that it's definitely going to improve the mathematics subject in school. It's not wrong, but this is not the 100% correct answer. Actually, abacus not only improves the marks in mathematics, but it will also show you the improvement in the marks of all other subjects. Yes, because you all know what are the advantages of Abacus. As I said, it's already discussed in our previous videos. As I said, we are going to discuss about one interesting event. When the child starts the Abacus course, along with explanation of the Abacus techniques, like how to solve addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, all these things, with the help of Abacus, along with that, we conduct some interesting speed test. Some interesting speed test in the beginning of the class to activate the students, to improve their speed, to check their speed so that we can work on that. This is done in each and every Abacus class. Now, the most excited, interesting event of this Abacus course is Abacus competition. Yes, Abacus competition. Now, the criteria for this competition, it depends on the company. Yes, it differs from company to company. So, here, in general, what is done? One paper is set of the sums for each level. So, the child who have completed one particular level and have started the next level, he is eligible for the competition of the previous level which he, he have completed. So, what is the criteria? For this competition as i said it differs so one paper is set with some number of sums it can be 50 it can be 100 it can also be 150 one fixed time is allotted it can be five minutes 10 minutes 20 minutes again it depends on the company and the number of sums and students may have to solve that paper either with tool or it can be also without tool if they have learned the without tool concept. So in general, this is how the competition is conducted. And what is the criteria for winning this competition? Let the conditions on which the paper is set be anything. Yes, let the number of sums be anything. Let the time allotted be anything. But the criteria for winning, the condition to win the competition is the child, the student, he have to solve maximum number of sums, maximum number of correct sums in that allotted time. I'll tell you one example. Suppose two students, they are writing the competition paper of the same level and if they are from the same class, same standard, one student, suppose he may solve 70 sums in 5 minutes and let's say other student, he solved 75 sums in 5 minutes. Now you will say the person or the student who have solved 75 sums, his speed is good, better than the one who has solved 70 sums. But here we check the number of correct sums. Suppose the students who have solved 70 sums, if his 68 sums are correct and suppose the student who have solved 75 sums, his 65 sums are correct, then tell me who is going to be the winner. Of course, the student who have solved 68 sums, 68 correct sums in that allotted time. So, maximum number of sums, but along with that, the condition is maximum number of correct sums. Now, what to do to get the best result? What to do to win the prize? What to do to win the trophy in the Abacus competition? As I said, here the most important thing is speed. Yes, speed and accuracy. These two things are important. So for this, the 
common mistake what the students do is they start their practice only after the competition date is declared or hardly when there is a week or so for the abacus competition okay chalo next sunday competition is there we will start our practice from this sunday no this is wrong right from the day when you start solving this sums on the abacus after joining the abacus course you have to start working on your speed and accuracy so what can you do for this when you become perfect in the concept yes first make the concepts clear if you are not clear in that ask your teachers abacus teachers to explain that again means clear all the concept you have to understand everything properly once you become perfect in that you start setting time goal time goal in the sense either you can set 5 minutes time and check the number of sums you can solve in this 5 minutes or you can set the time for that particular page now suppose you are starting one page at 5:30 and suppose 50 sums are there in that page you are starting solving the page at 5:30 you note down that time start solving as soon as you finish the last sum again note down the time suppose it's 5:50 then you have started at 5:30 you have completed at 5:50 so how much time you have taken here yes you have taken 20 minutes time to solve 50 sums so when you do this for each and every page you yourself will understand your speed and the accuracy now the most important yes the most important factor what we have observed in this 15 years of our experience in this abacus field is the parents role in this abacus course what we have seen the parents who take care of their child regarding this abacus course they become perfect in this abacus concept as well as we find them as the winner in the abacus competition now what is parents role in this the very first thing send your child regularly for the class yes please check that your child will not miss any class okay if there is any unavoidable reason once a while it's okay but it should not become the habit of the child to miss the abacus class and in this regard parents you have to be little bit strict send your child regularly for the class then the next thing discuss with them that what they have learned in that week ask them to explain yes the famous technique says that when the child explains the concept they become perfect in that yes this is the world famous famous technique so ask your child to explain it to you that what you have learned yes tell me what you have learned this thing you can do and one more thing is you can set the time for the page for which the homework is given means one or two pages homework is given to them you can set the time for each and every row or you can set the time for the complete page and there are few parents who really take sincere efforts here just go through these videos here you can see that one of our parent they write down all the sums from the abacus book yes they have made one king size book they write down the sums again they set the time goal and they ask their child to solve all these sums i really appreciate the efforts of such parents this is how they take practice at home and we really find such students taking trophy on the stage after the abacus competitions so i think now it's quite clear that what is abacus competition and what is the criteria to win this competition what is student supposed to do and what parents are supposed to do to win this competition and regarding teachers we teachers are always there to help you yes we are there to guide you to explain the concepts again and again Uh, to guide you how the competitions are taken even we are ready to take the practice in our class yes but as i said 
Eater's role is just 50% in this abacus competition and remaining 50% is of child and parent. Yes, the credit goes to child and parents. So, those who are going to appear for the abacus competition in the coming future, all my best wishes to all those kids. So, please don't keep this interesting, useful videos only up to yourself. Please do share this video to maximum number of students. And don't forget to subscribe our channel that is Rishuraj Classes so that you will get updates of such useful and interesting videos. My dear viewers, thank you so much for watching this video.